speaker will run interference. <laughs> Well, contrary to appearances, this isn't a sentimental reunion of old political sparring partners. What this gathering does represent is a solid cross-section of leaders and outstanding members of the Congress. Now, perhaps you've been informed, I don't know, there would have been the, some leaders and leading members and the leadership of the Senate here, but I understand that they're in the middle of a vote and therefore uh, they're missing this occasion are united by something much bigger than political labels. We're all Americans. We all want to get the American economy moving. We all realize that to achieve this, we must cut federal deficits to bring down interest rates and create jobs. Together, we've been reviewing the situation and speaking for myself, I've come out of the meetings as an optimist. Over the last 24 hours, we've seen impressive evidence that the American economy is looking up. Yesterday's historic rally of the stock market and several leading economic indicators all point toward economic recovery. And a growing number of banks are lowering their prime interest rates. We have to keep this momentum for prosperity going by passing the bipartisan legislation before the Congress to lower deficits when Democrats join together now to achieve this goal. Interest rates will keep on coming down and we'll get to the point where there will be jobs for all Americans who want to work. government's become such a destabilizing factor that uh, many people, including myself, uh, don't believe there's really a long term anymore because the government is uh, so unpredictable except in its spending habits. And that's, uh, of course, one of the reasons that I'm here today uh, on behalf of all former secretaries of the Treasury. I guess you'll get a printed statement uh, except John Conley, who was not reachable. Um, and I'm sure John would have uh, supported this as well to support the tax legislation uh, that the President uh, has been talking to you all about. We've all analyzed this legislation and in light of the current economic situation, uh, concluded that it has to be enacted. The budget is not only out of control, it's, uh, it's hemorrhaging. And that has a great many inflationary and financial consequences, budget policy. So that is what we are here for, to talk about uh, the tax bill, about bringing a balance between our fiscal and monetary policies and urging the Congress to move further because the ultimate solution to our budget problems has to be controlling spending and shrinking the size of government. And that's it, period. And that's why I'm so pleased to be here in support of this. And I'd be delighted to answer any questions you'd like to ask. Bill, this bill is defeated. Will the market then go back down? I think the market would be disappointed uh, if indeed the bill was uh, defeated because the financial markets view the, the deficits as they look out as just so incredibly huge uh, that uh, they have to be curbed.
well i can answer both questions at the same time yes i did obviously